Welcome to L.A. <laughs> Oh man! That's Welcome how you to cut. Hollywood. That's how you make your dream. It's been a wild 48 it's hours. Oh my home. God! You just walked up here and you go, "What just happened?" I have no idea. Okay, 98 so, yard drives. What just happened? We just listened to Van Jefferson talk about your confidence, Baker. First of all, thank you for jumping up on set right away with us. What we were all stood there stunned about what just happened. I know that you know. Look, playing at a high level and everything that you've done. How would you put this in perspective? career-wise this is up there for uh, all time this is up there <laughs> to be honest with you um, I don't know I, I mean I had Sean Liam and, and Zach Robinson help me study for since I landed um, didn't think it was gonna play out like this but I am sure happy we covered the two-minute operation my goodness <laughs> how, so, how, how was it though I mean going to that just a little bit tell us how you're able to learn that offense so quickly did they bring concepts concepts that you had had before or what was the process with that because it was amazing I was just telling Fitzy uh, you know originally I was angry about having to go through many so many coaching changes and learn so many new things but that for sure helped right there uh, just learning protections first and then just talking with those guys on offense about the you know the concepts that I like and luckily I've I run a lot of them um, and they put some good plays out there and put me in a good position to win yeah and they gave you a chance to throw some go balls which I know you love throwing the go ball but talk about that last one even just pre-snap you seeing it knowing you're going to have a chance at van and being able to put it out there for you. yeah to be honest with you I was completely shocked that they line up in press coverage with 15 seconds Look, that, I mean, Sherm, Sherm Sherm was a little aggravated. the defensive I mean, coordinator went to Yale and I really thought they were going to try and pop out and play zone, but they just stayed with it and saw the, the weak side safety stay down. And uh, Van's great go ball runner go up and get it, and uh, he won off the line and did a good, good job. Right. Well, you had some doubters and some detractors, this guy. <laughs> and you sh sat there and said, hey, I'm out here off two days. I'm about to silence all y'all and show you I can sling it. You did that tonight. It got to feel good. I mean, there. I don't know if anybody in the history of the game came in off two days and slung the ball like that. I mean, I'm, I'm happy with it. I mean, there's a lot of stuff to clean up just operation-wise. Okay, Baker, expected. I'm going to cut you off. That was incredible <laughs> what you just no, but, did. Don't but say those this guys, Those up. guys were communicating with me the whole time. I and mean, Brian Allen up front, those guys up front, talking about some of these run checks that we have here. And it's a little bit complex, but they were communicating the whole time. And we switched up some snap count during that. And they just they kept riding along with me and rode the wave. And so uh, I got to love that. That's awesome. Hey, we we got to go to this. Guy in we, town. Saw, we saw that energy. Obviously, you had to be amped out of your mind. I mean, what a what a freaking turnaround in a couple of days. But we also saw a huge celebration there at the end. You, you made a little contact there after that play. Right, little, I, maybe I, in a concussion <laughs> protocol. <laughs> Might have to put him in the protocol, put him in the tent. I see a 77 jersey up there. That makes me happy, too. But look at this right here. Amped up, out of his oh, mind, little head fight. Oh, oh, take it easy. Come on, man. It feels good, man. <laughs> I feel good. I can remember you guys coming here when you're in Carolina. I saw you right down here while they're warming up, and you had the boot on, and you're like, man, I can't wait to just get out on the field and get back to playing football. I know it's hard to take it in right now. One, I hope you enjoyed the home locker room. You got to see it today. Uh, you'll get to see it again, hopefully. But, I mean, dude, can you put it into words? Like, the, the moment, right? Where you been in this season, the pain you've been through, and some of the things to right now? Yeah, I mean, it's been a wild year. Uh, I'm not going to say otherwise from being in limbo in the beginning, not knowing where it's going to go, and uh, to the, the last 48 hours here. Uh, you know, and I'm thankful for the guys back in Carolina, my teammates. I mean, to be honest with you, I love those guys. It, it sucked having to leave, but, I mean, when it, when it works out like this, it, it's for the best, and I think they understand that. Um, but it's been wild. Yeah, this you, you, talk, you talk about uh -oh. your, your, your former teammates there in Carolina. You see these tweets that we're putting up. Patrick Mahomes just putting up, wow, crying emojis. It, it's incredible what just happened, but I would love to know what your last 48 hours, aside from the moment that just happened, your bags haven't even hit the carousel four what at LAX yet. What time is it right now? Seriously. <laughs> yeah. He's not on the time zone yet. 8.30. 8.30. So, I landed at 7.15 on Tuesday. We got to the facility okay, at so nine. it's been over 48 hours. <laughs> oh, oh, that's not that big a deal. The whole time. Yeah. Yeah. I take it all back. Yeah. Great. So, 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 tell us about the plane ride where you chased McVeigh down and, and got on a plane yeah. with him hey, and sat next door. I didn't do that. We were walking uh, Southwest flight, and, and I don't know who. I can't remember who was sitting next to him, but he kicked him out. And I sat next to him. You two we, on a Southwest flight's great too. We, we also talked about well, Lincoln Riley the whole bags time. Bags so. fly free. Yeah. You know, big. Big guy into saving, loves that drink coupon. That's me. <laughs> he was he was an A. Was Wait, an no, a. so so set, setting up the story, you know, Witt talked about it pregame that McVeigh's always been a huge supporter of yours and going back to this, you know, famed flight. So walk us through that a little bit. 
We uh, honestly, we just talked ball. Um, you know, it wasn't like they were in a position uh, to where I was going to end up here. Um, but we just talked ball the whole time. He kind of just been talking about concepts and all that, talking about Lincoln Riley, just, you know, philosophy wise, uh, what I appreciated about that, how I saw the game. And it was just a really laid back conversation. Did you know you were going to be in in Los Angeles as soon as uh, Carolina let you go? Was this one of the potential teams that said, you know what, that's probably a good spot for me? I took a gamble. I booked the flight. Uh, before the waiver wire went through. <laughs> okay. I love it. Uh, shoot your okay, shot. I got, I got That's two, incredible. Two you, quick questions. One, you didn't start the game. Like, did you know you weren't going to start? Did you know you were going in? I, yeah, I knew I wasn't going to start. Honestly, you know, uh, we were just kind of seeing how John was going to feel. Okay. Uh, just how that was going to go and just play it out. Uh, I was going to be ready no matter what, but if we were going to play well with John in there and keep it rolling, um, I think it was more of a safety precaution. And, and secondly, what I loved, and we'll show some tape of it here, but you, yes, you're new, but you're a veteran quarterback now. You're a great communicator, and so there's a ton of shots of you on the sideline, and you're just you know, talking to the guys in the huddle, but talking to guys, encouraging guys. Just seems like your character, your style of play, your charisma, that wins teams over, and we like seeing it here. Most importantly, though, you, you talk to Havenstein for a while. You always get the veteran yep. O-linemen and get them going. We like to see that in our he's, green room. He's smart enough to know the guy to go get, right? The most veteran O-lineman who's been <laughs> around. But, you know, that's one of the things I can remember Sean shared from that flight, your confidence, your swagger, and who you were, and really just your ability to affect people around you. He felt like you just carried that confidence and belief in yourself, and you see it right there. Being here 48 hours, right. already loving on teammates, already encouraging guys, man. Hats off to you, man. What an amazing Appreciate accomplishment. That. It right. just it speaks to the culture of the locker room, though. You know, them coming in here and still trying to compete, even though, you know, the record speaks for itself. Just still just welcome me in, competing and fighting to the very finish right there. I mean, that, that says everything you need to know about this place. I think we have like 11 days till the next game. What can we expect with you 11 you days of preparation? Would you mind making it more dramatic? Oh, gosh, I hope not. You do you have a, a house? A I mean, to do we have, I was going to say, Witt's got extra room. I got Plenty of room, but staying in the hotel where we got married, so uh, hey, okay. yeah. well, yeah. I full do. circle, man. I full faker. Uh, Unbelievable. Yeah. Uh, so, so you, uh, since you've come into the league, you've been kind of a lightning rod. Okay, uh, it's gone up, it's gone down, it's gone sideways, it's gone everywhere. What have you learned? What is the biggest thing you've learned through that process? And then my second question is, what does long-term success look for you? I think He's the biggest thing I've learned. Yeah, that's, that's well, deep right there. Well, the turtleneck says it all, um, but go ahead and take your time with it. <laughs> Tell me. Tell I, me. I think the biggest thing I've learned is don't let the on-the-field play affect who you are day in and day out. Be the same guy for your teammates, and that, that's been the biggest thing this year that I think I've tried to like just handle overall is trying to help out where I can, not letting all that other stuff affect me, um, and, and just roll with the punches. Be who I am and, and kind of be that leader. I, I love football. Like I just do. I, I love this game. I love playing and competing, and so uh, just go enjoy it. And fast forward to your end of your career, what does that long-term success look like in your mind? To where I can, right, we're living in I can the teach moment. Effect, oh you know, I, I just I want to be able to walk away this with my head held high. He's been here 48 hours, Tony. Let's yeah. not get his. Long he's trying to remember even. how to get back to the hotel. Hey, what we got going on? Guys, here? we got a hey, session going on here. Is it? We're gonna get a button. Did, down. did he drop the button? Oh, hey, not, yet. Not, not, <laughs> not yet. It's not. Not yet. Not yet. As the show goes on, a button goes down. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, it's constant. Oh. What what an incredible game for you, of course. Uh, 2018 number one overall pick, and then to sit here and say you're staying at the same hotel you got married at, you're, you <laughs> literally are introducing yourself can to I, your teammates. Can I ask you one more thing? Sure. Uh, number 17, what, how are we feeling about it? You look great. Hey, man. It looks awesome on you. Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> it looks good on you. Hey, you know what? I told him I'm, I'm happy with a jersey, but... Uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. I'll you know? keep it. Hey, by the way, it worked out for you. It worked. It worked. There's, there's a lot of people right here, your new fan base, that will buy a number 17 jersey. <laughs> I love it. Baker, guys? Baker, before we, before we let you go, and clearly this is all just, you know, settling in right now, how do you summarize a moment like this? I don't, I don't think I properly can. Uh, it, it's, it's a lot of emotions all at once. I, I think I was just kind of head down and focus trying to learn and then now all the emotions kind of came out i'm sure once i get back in there and actually take a breath i'll be all right all right well congratulations stuff, man. Thank you. Welcome gonna be to a great locker room tonight yeah, yeah. We're, show them where the locker room is <laughs> yeah, it's that way <laughs> and you take a right can you okay. just gotta move through those trailers up there yeah i got you man don't worry uh, come it. show you around congratulations a man week. thanks for well that. done that was so fun to watch good stuff all right you guys we will continue the fun here at sofi what an incredible finish we will discuss this game and the rest of week 14. Thanks for watching the Google Pixel post game show, TNF Nightcap, on after this.